Okay, well this is the plenary on building the movement against NATO war and militarisation. I think we're all aware this is one of the major challenges facing us internationally, uh, not just this week, but over the, the coming period. We have a fantastic range of speakers um, lined up for you. The first one I would like to introduce is Margareta Darcy. Margareta, as many of you will have heard yesterday, um, who, when she spoke on the demonstration, many of you will know of her case. She was somebody who quite unbelievably was put in prison um, by the Irish state for, uh, for daring to protest the blockade at Shannon Airport where all the US troops go through. Uh, she has a fantastic long record of uh, campaigning and organising. She also is a tremendously um, well-known playwright. Um, that I remember going to a play that she wrote with her husband, John Arden, back in 1960-something called The Hero Rises Up. And they're very, they're fantastic plays, I think, all their plays. So, She's here to talk not about her plays, I guess, although we'd, be, we'd love to hear about them, but about her role in the campaign. So please welcome Margaret Stasi. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm not so wrong with the fact is I have not been only put into jail by my own government, but I've been tried to put four times put in by your government. So congratulations and thank you for releasing me. And now one thing that I would like to do is to express my solidarity with the women's groups here, Code Pink, the Women in Black, the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. Because I think, and I hope no one's going to object, even though I did have a little contradiction with somebody who said, no such thing as gender in the peace movement. I would just also like to talk about, because I think it has been absolutely forgotten and hidden, is the enormous victory that the greener women did. Now, don't all clap, no! Don't clap because of the word greener. What you need to clap for is what happened at the end, which I don't think any of you know, and it's all in here my magnificent film, which you get from Fiverr. What happened at the end was the cruise missiles left, and that is because of the anomaly of the common law inside Britain. Once the crews left, the RAF were there. They left, they were harassed through legal um, proceedings, and then the multinationals come to come, um, uh, decided to come in. And they also were harassed and left. And now Greenham belongs to the Greenham people. It is a wonderful park where everyone can walk and enjoy themselves. And I think that this achievement has never ever been acknowledged in its full right by the peace movement. So I'd like you all to stand up now and acknowledge that victory. Thousands of innocent people have been kidnapped and brought as prisoners 
hooded, manacled, and brought to Guantanamo Bay, and we believe that some of them have been through Shannon. Military airplanes, and particularly the Hercules, have been leaving the US with military hardware, which stops at Shannon. The use of the military hardware has destroyed villages and killed hundreds of innocent people. This is all well documented and has been denounced by many, many groups, in particular the treatment of prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. More recently, the drones have been coming. The software components for the drones have been coming. Software for drones are made in Carrier Derry. I bought a DV of the history of the drones in Pakistan, which I use as evidence. I also have papers which I want to use as evidence on the relationship with the, do with the drones, with the CIA, and the relationship with the drones and the uh, UK. I have also a list of military planes. Every second Sunday of every month I have been on the roundabout to ask the Guardi would they search the military planes, and they have said no. We are meant to be a neutral country and not be complicity or aiding and abetting military engagements unless passed by Dole Aaron. At no time has Dole Aaron said we are military involved in Iraq or Afghanistan. Constitution says we are neutral and should engage in peaceful resolution of any conflict. The Garda Shakona is set up to protect the Irish people and not the interests of the US military ma machines. They are protecting the US military against the Irish citizens. Shannon Airport is not a military airport, it is a civilian airport. The Guardi are not protecting the Constitution. There's an international campaign at the moment from the 6th of October to the 13th of October to protest against the use of drones. We are now in 2012. The culture has changed. Instead of con confrontation, we have dialogue and conversation to be able to have some kind of understanding and agreement about how to stop the totally futile concept of war involving destruction of villages, the waste of our resources, or at the moment due to the financial situation the country is bankrupt. The US has crippled itself because of the war, trillions have gone into war. Now, at my other court case, I decided to actually make a citizen arrest on the judge. <laughs> so he was, to say the least, a bit surprised when I said he should be with me in the dock and I should be where he is. I am making a citizen's arrest on you, Patrick Durkin, District Court Ennis, for making Irish people active and participants in illegal wars. You ruled that I did interfere with the proper use of Channel Airport. That makes you complicit in supporting the criminal acts of Shannon Airport as you have ignored the following. Shannon Airport is not a proper airport. It has violated the integrity of the Irish Constitution, Article 28, and na na na. Anyway, Ireland is breaching the legal definition of neutrality as described by the Hague Convention. The Nuremberg Principle states complicity in the commission of a crime against peace a war crime or a crime against humanity, it is a crime against international law. The Irish government have put the interests of the Allies above the freedom and safety of the Irish people and the international community who use Shannon. Is this treason? Does this mean that anyone who goes through Shannon who is aware of the military hardware going through? Are we all criminals in complicity of the Nuremberg? Principles, I'm asking you to free yourself of these crimes, come to Shannon, and get Shannon back to the people the same way as at Greenham, we got the land back to the people who now enjoy it. Welcome to Ireland. Thank you.